Saturday, guys! It's Saturday night again, and I have no idea what I'm talking about, but, but, but actually I have, I know what I'm talking about, that's why I started filming this, cool? Cool. So, I just realized that I never, actually, I've never told you guys my summer plans, and that's been a major part of my life. I'm, okay, I'm just going to tell you, instead of, like, just freaking out about the project, I am doing research, my material science research, which is about, overall, it's about computational materials, but, so, for me, at least, it combines physics, material science, and computer science, which are all subjects I get so excited about. And I just, I, I'm an, I love it. It's just, it's so cool to be doing this. And, you know, a lot of my favorite professors are probably going to be involved. I'm probably going to be bugging them with a lot of questions. That's what you get when you become Alice's favorite professor, you know? Um, it doesn't come with, the, it, it, it's, wait, how, how should I say it? It's not easy to be one of Alice's favorite professors. No, no, that puts me, huh. Being one of Alice's favorite professors doesn't come without a cost. That. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's going to be so cool. I'm going to be solving structures, coding in Python, and then solving more structures, and then building glasses with material science with the soft software. And then, like, sending my code. So, at least the plan is, right? Get my physics professors to help me with getting the code working. Get a CS professor to help me optimize the code. And then get the material science professors to actually tell me if the material is physically possible or not. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the plan. But I, I'm, I'm just really excited. And then also on Thursday, I believe, or maybe it was Wednesday, but sometime this week, um, Chris Fiekowitz, uh, so, so, he's a professor talking about, I've talked about a lot on this channel, I know. He's the CS professor that, I don't remember which videos I've shown you guys and which ones I haven't, but he's the CS professor that won the Excellence in Teaching Award last year, if you remember what he looks like. But anyways, he he's teaching MATLAB over the summer, and he reached out to me and was like, hey, yo, do you want to be a TA? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and so that might be a thing that's happening. So yeah, I'm staying at Case for at least the majority of the summer, and then I'm going back to China. And then I'm coming back, and next semester is going to be pretty cool. Oh, 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 and I think I've never told you guys this, but I'm doing the BSMS program at Case, which means I have two more years at Case instead of one. But, yeah. You guys should all come to my graduation, by the way. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have two more years at Case. That's a thing. That is a thing. Yeah, and then I get my master's after the two years, and I get my, batch my bachelor's next year. Oh, engineering physics. Oh, the the video where it has him uploaded um, this Thursday, I believe. I, I know where it has him, but he was like inside out now. But so you know how he, so if you want to watch, I'll link the link in the description. But essentially he mentioned he chose engineering physics as a major because he thought it was you know, the most challenging engineering um, major you could get. And looking back, it was definitely challenging. I mean, I guess I haven't gotten the degree yet, but I only have one more class that I have to take, like, that's required, that I'm required to take to get the degree. So, I mean, it was challenging, but, like, for me, when I chose the major, I just, I thought it was fun. And because I liked physics, I liked engineering, engineering and physics seemed to be the correct thing to do. For me, it was just fun. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's about it on my life. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week, poem week, right? I I think I might do a poem in Chinese. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, yep, see you all next week. And um, Zoa and I think Linda... 
I don't remember. I think it's so and Linda, both of you guys, wanted me to talk about the Vlogbrothers videos. So I haven't exactly thought through this a lot. So actually, maybe tomorrow, next week I might do a poem about Durant. But I've... I actually started recording that video, so I'm just going to slide it in right here at the end so you guys could kind of see my feelings about it. Okay, well, see y'all next week. Bye. Okay, so I guess I would at the blah blah. Can't talk. Whew. Thumbs up. Cool. Um so I guess we're talking about YouTube today. Um yeah, it's Hank and John's videos this week. What are, like, what? Are people normally that negative, I guess? Like, do people not appreciate each other? I, I mean, I'm definitely not an expert on this, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just living in such a big echo chamber here at, you know, a upper level, high, high level institute, it, it feels like for me at least, right, like, students like the professors, the professors like the students, we're nice to the workers also, you know, the custodians, the people that, you know, serve us food in the dining halls, it, at least for me, it feels like everyone's pretty nice to each other. It doesn't... I don't know. What? <laughs> well, obviously this video is not script, so I should have probably done that, but... I mean, what's the world outside like?